Hi guys, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. So let's get into it. All right. So as a split the deck, we have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So that's about Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? We have woo, the five cups, the seven of wands, the seven of swords. Ooh, child, yeah, <laughs> baby. That page of cups came back out there. The daughter of baskets, the ace of cups, the devil, the five of swords, the <laughs> page of wands and the four of cups okay two of cups here okay you're dealing with someone who is a soulmate or you dealt with someone who is a soulmate uh but their main objective is to balance you out and for you to clear karma five of cups sitting here right here either you were in a third party situation ship or you put someone in a third party situation, whether you be in it knowingly or unknowingly, put yourself where you see yourself. Either way, go, you're disappointed in a connection. Uh, it's a connection that you knew you shouldn't have been in, but you fought for this connection, seven of ones, against your better judgment. Um, it's because for, for some of you guys, Scorpio placements, this connection that you're in, you either someone lied to you um in the connection or this person that you were dealing with who you thought was your two of cups upright was someone who was very deceptive conniving and was willing to win or be in a relationship with you they thought of it as a game to win your heart at all costs with the seven of swords there with the page of cups i feel like you gave this person an offer everything started out lovely with the ace of cups there but then slowly but surely this person revealed who they really were okay miss miss robinson the devil the karmic energy okay that saturn energy it was a connection of lessons karmic lessons uh hard lessons for some of you guys that you had to move through persevere through with the five of swords here this person might have made you feel like you were this and that in the beginning of the relationship but sitting in the future position you're sitting in the five of swords constant chaos constant turmoil constant toxic behavior constant gaslighting i feel like you're trying to rebuild yourself and and move out of the relationship but it's like when you dealt with this person they made you feel small they wounded your inner child even more it's like you went back to childhood when you were dealing with this person okay for some of y'all, they trigger childhood wounds, okay? This relationship, this connection, whoever this person is that you are dealing with or were dealing with, everybody's timeline is different, okay, guys? Take, like I tell y'all, take only the messages that resonate with you. With the Four of Cups, it's like you're over it or you will be soon. If you're not already, I feel like this person is like, you looking at them like, okay. I'm done, done like that. It's like you're over the games, you're over the lies, you're over the manipulation, you're over for somebody, somebody who had a big ego thought that you would never leave them. But surprise, surprise, you might be making a move. It's like you really have some decisions to make on whether or not you're going to continue to pull, put up with something that isn't really what you want. OK, but let's get into the oracle to wrap up your reading scorpio placements let's see here divine holy spirit what additional messages do you have for scorpio sun moon rising and venus placements let's see 
here. For some of you, like I said, you, hmm, <laughs> baby, some of y'all, I ain't going to even say the word, because y'all feel like, at one point, you feel like this is what this was, but it's not really a healthy connection. Okay. What other? Child. Everybody ain't ready for that one. It could be toxic. It could be. It could be releasing negative energy, learning lessons. It's toxic. For some of y'all, timing issues. It was always back and forth, but you tried to fight for this connection, but it wasn't. Mm, child. Sometimes it can be the right person, but the wrong time. Timing is essential here. Be patient and see what unfolds during this season. I ain't going to tell you that. <laughs> okay. I'm being honest. I'm being serious. I'm going to show you all this card on the bottom of the deck. Being at odds. It seems that both of you are on different pages at the moment. A conversation, therapy, or time alone may be needed. Don't worry. You two will find your way back to one another. That's in small, limited case, case by case basis only. I put it that way. Use your own discernment. Okay. Any other messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Because sometimes you got to choose yourself over a relationship that's toxic, especially. Child, what is it? Yeah, that's the <laughs> Additional, that's too many spirit. Sometimes y'all might feel like, oh, being toxic and all that stuff with a person is good, but it's not good for your mental health. Okay, you need someone who's seasoned in in healthy relationships, not you know, topsy turvy, toxic. I don't give a. AF relationships. Let's see here. For some of y'all, y'all may be an older couple and y'all been going through this for years. Bless y'all, huh? Better get like Teddy P, Teddy Pendergrass. Let it go. Looks like another little TK or something. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody got time for that. Child, y'all think it's fake with someone in the past and uh, there it is. It came back out again. So this new person, because see, the Four of Cups talks about receiving an offer out of nowhere. And it's, this may, this new person, they may be what you're looking for, seasoned love. Y'all saw it came out twice, right? This kind of love has endured the ups and downs that come with life. With this person, you know that you can get through anything. This new love now. I have to reiterate that. Bottom of the deck, gifts and offers. A gift serves as a gesture of affection, care, or a way to make a special someone smile. This may be your your person's love language. So this new person, this may be their love language. It might be your love language. Take it how it resonates. But that's just, from the past. It's a dead end. Thank you, spirit. Spirit, say look at the at that top card. That dead end for the that that past connection. Dead end. This card signifies that there is no need to force the situation and or this is going nowhere at the moment. However, that for some of y'all, that doesn't mean that this is the last forever, that dead end. But baby, you've been dealing with somebody who's been putting you through the ring. And I feel like a lot of y'all just let it go. And you're, that two of cups on the bottom is this new person coming towards you. Spirit giving you another chance at love. Thank you, Spirit. Love and healing. The grandchildren is the star card in this day. So yes yes so that is all i have for you guys i truly hope you guys enjoy the reading i hope it resonated if it did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys